Hello friends, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. I'm in Luminar Neo today and I'll be talking about a little tip or trick that I like to do at the end of my edits to sometimes just push that edit over the finish line. If you're like me, maybe you've gone through a complete edit with masks and tools and all these different things and you still feel like it's missing a little something that maybe it just needs a little extra oomph. That's what this video is about and that's what this tip will do for you. Now, before I jump into it, I want to remind you that if you haven't yet subscribed to my email newsletter, there's a link down below. And the reason I'm bringing that up is, of course, because when you do that, you get a 27-page editing guide for Luminar Neo that has all kinds of ideas and insights and tips and tricks in it. If you're interested, check it out at the link below. Let's get into this tip. I'm going to show you a few different examples of photos. These photos are already edited, as I said. So this photo started life like that, and it's there. And I've done lots of things here, but I feel like it's missing a little thing. And the beauty of this tool and tip is that the amount of effort is minimal, but the result is pretty significant. And that tip is using Accent AI and containing that with a, a radial gradient. So what I'm going to do is drop this radial gradient here, kind of in the center of the photo. And this is what I'm talking about, is when you want to go and accentuate a subject and really bring a focus uh, and a little bit more attention to whatever your subject is in a photo, Accent AI, Accent AI is great at that. But using a radial mask is uh, the best way to do that, I think, because um, this radial shape, you can conform that to generally cover the area that you need, but you also have this gradient edge where you can increase or decrease the gradient zone around it in order to get a better fade into the rest of the photo. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So what I wanted to do was kind of pop the center of the photo, and I'm at 51, which is a lot, I think, for Accent AI. But if you look at the before and after, it's a lot different, honestly. So before and after, it's got a lot more pop. It, it pops the light, the contrast, the color, all that kind of stuff. But you get a beautiful result with, honestly, like almost no effort. Let me show you a couple more examples. Again, another a landscape, although this tip will work on cityscapes. I'll show you that as well in just a moment. This is a, a place that has a really long name. Uh, it's in Iceland, in the Highlands. It's commonly known as the Valley of Tears, which is what I will call it, because I don't know the name in Icelandic, and I certainly cannot pronounce it, but it's a beautiful place. Uh, and Accent AI, Mask, and Radial Gradient. And what I want to do here is really pop the center of that photo. One of the nice things, as I mentioned in the previous one, is that with accent, or excuse me, with the radial gradient, you have the ability to adjust the shape. And so you can see that it starts out as a circle, but you can tilt it, which is what I'm doing here, realign it, and just do all kinds of things in order to kind of get it in the right place. Now I'm just going to put it over here, slightly tilt that a little bit more, lengthen that area, pull back slightly on the gradient, and ensure that I've got a nice gradient fade to the edge because you don't want to overdo that, and you do want to have a generous fade, I believe. That's the beauty of these gradient masks is that ability to fade that edge so that it blends better into the rest of the photo. And there, I'm at 41. Again, a fairly high amount, I think, for that tool. But if you look at the before and the after, before and after it gives a nice little pop to the center of the photo, but that gradient edge, it fades it into the rest of the photo so you don't have like a really abrupt change from where the mask is applying the Accent AI to where it's not. That's the beauty of the gradient edge. Now let me show you a cityscape example as well. Here's a cityscape that I changed completely, frankly. It's got a new sky. I fixed the verticals, cropped it a lot, that sort of thing. This is from a little town in Slovakia called Bratislava. And uh, the way that I would use Accent AI here is actually a couple of different ways. So I would come in with a mask and again, a radial gradient. And I want to get a little bit more visibility over here in this part of the street. So I want to shape that and drop that in there and then just go and apply that amount. So all it's doing is creating a little bit more brightening there, which I like. So before and after. But another thing that you can do if you're OK with the same amount, you can go back into masking radial gradient again and then apply one in a different place. And so you can apply multiple uses of that same radial gradient in the same use of the mask. But keep in mind that means the adjustment amount of 62 in this case is going to be the same because you have to use that same number because you're using the mask twice on the same tool or same instance of the tool. So hopefully that makes sense. But if you look at the before, and the after gives a nice little pop of light there, which I think brings that scene to life a little bit more. Uh, and in this one, I, it's not actually a full edit. I would probably come in and add a vignette as well, just to kind of tighten up the edges, uh, that sort of thing. And of course, with vignettes, I like feathering. I'm a big fan of, and a little bit of roundness as well. But that accent and I gives you a nice little pop in the center. 
Now, here's a different example in the city. And in this case, you might think, oh, okay, Jim, I'll just draw the, uh, the radial mask all across here to highlight Big Ben and the bridge and all that. Uh, I was actually looking at it differently. And this is the beauty of these masks is that I kind of want to accentuate this center section right here. Well, it's not entirely central to the photo, but I want to center it uh, more along this line as opposed to on the, uh, the, on the kind of horizontal line. I want to go more vertical here. So this is going to give me a nice little pop right there in that center section, uh, getting some of this bridge as well as Big Ben and that sort of thing. And you do need to play with the radial mass to get them lined up the way you want. But if I come in here and do a little bit of a bump here in Accent AI, mid-30s, if you look at the before and the after, right, before and after, again, nice pop of light, nice pop of color right there. And that gives me a little bit more umph and helps me get that photo over the finish line. Now, again, you could come back and, as I showed you in the last one, and just do another radial gradient here if you wanted to. And in this case, you might want to go a little bit longer like that. And then they're going to overlap here a little bit in the center. But that gives you a nice little pop along the edge there of the, uh, the front of the Houses of Parliament as well. So before and after. So you can use it once, twice. You can use it multiple times. The point is, using that Accent AI slider to give a little bit of oomph to that area and containing it with a radial mask is a fantastic way to go about wrapping up an edit, getting it over the finish line, and giving you a finished product that has the appropriate amount of kind of pop, if you will, on the subject or whatever part of the photo that you want your viewers looking at. It's a great way to wrap up an edit, something I use all the time. Hopefully this quick tip was helpful for you. Check out my ebook if you're interested. I'll be back soon with more Luminar Neo videos. You guys take care, and until next time, adios.